Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsU.com and today we are going to talk about the new Continuum feature which is coming on the new Lumia 950 and 950XL. These are the two new Windows phones which are coming to Indian market tomorrow and we are going to talk about the Continuum feature, how does it actually work. First of all, you need to have this stock which is a separate accessory. Most probably we are not sure about it but this will cost you approximately 10,000 rupees and this is the display dock which you will need. You have to connect your smartphone which is the Lumia 950XL as of now to this dock first of all and once you have connected that you need to connect the dock to the charger with the help of this cable and then you need to connect it to the external display monitor right now which is in front of you and that display monitor will be connected with the help of the HDMI cable. Right now I have also connected a keyboard and a mouse. This is the keyboard which I have connected and this is the mouse which I have connected. So I have connected the keyboard mouse with the display dock and I can basically use the smartphone uh, as a touchpad and I can basically type it from here as well when I have connected it to an external display monitor using the display dock and I can also use the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So let's talk about this functionality and let's see how does it actually work. So here we have the Continuum app and once you open up this Continuum app you will see a touchpad with which you can actually see right now on the screen that I can move my finger on the phone and the cursor is moving on the screen and in case I want to type I can just tap over there and I can type as well uh, from this and once I tap I can start typing for example if I type gadgets to use.com you can see that over there and I can also control other functionalities using this mouse so I can just uh, increase the font size for instance like this and I can increase the font size uh, over there so that's how you can increase the font size and you can simply type either from the phone itself like this or you can type using this keyboard and again this becomes a very productive usage of the overall machine. So uh, talking about the overall functionality this actually gives you a lot of portability and a lot of productivity. Why I say portability because you just need to carry this small little device with you and the display dock and you are good to go. You can use both of these things together like a PC with the help of the keyboard and mouse or you can use a smartphone itself and that is a new productivity usage you will have on this smartphone and it is not right now comparable with any other smartphone because no other smartphone can actually offer you this kind of functionality and again this thing make it very special. Talking about the usage and when it comes to the usage you will see all the application which are universal application work in this way. They will be projected to the display monitor with which you have connected the smartphone and that's how you can use it. So I can always go back and I can also do a voice dictation as well. So I can do a voice dictation from the container app itself and I can dictate whatever I want to write. So that is also something which will give you a lot of more productivity, a lot of more power because you don't even need to type from the phone or from the keyboard. You can actually say things and they will be written on the external display monitor with which you have connected your phone. Now let's talk about some other application which you can use. So here we have the screen. This is the main screen which will open up and over there on the screen you will see content application, camera application. You can also launch, launch camera directly from the interface and this is how you can actually take a photo of any subject uh, using your display monitor using your mouse so I have just taken the photo so this is how you can use camera and again you do have some other universal application which will work in this manner especially which are designed as an interface both for the display monitor as well as for the phone for example we have one application over there which is the Fitbit application and I think we should have it over there yeah so here we have the Fitbit application and the Fitbit application is actually designed to run both on your smartphone as well as on the external display monitor and that is why it is a universal application but in case you see any other application which are not universal then you will see them gray over there they will not basically launch on the external display monitor and that's how things will differ so this is the kind of uh, things difference will be in case you have a universal app on your phone or in case you don't have a universal app you can still use it on the phone but you cannot use it on the PC. Now for example if I take a photo from the camera again I take a front camera photo as of now and uh, for that I need to basically go back. So right now I have the camera open on the ex external display monitor right now and I have the home screen open on the phone and in this case if I basically take a photo from the front camera I can do that and the view will get changed over there in case I want to do that I can basically toggle in between these applications which are there so that's how the view will change let me take a front camera selfie and show you the same 
So I've just taken the front camera selfie and it will basically appear over there the moment I open up the camera application. So this is how things are and I can click over there and show you this selfie. So this is how it looks like. Again, the camera capabilities and the hardware capabilities of the device is very good. You can do a lot more and this kind of usage allows you to do a lot more things. And for example, you are uh, basically presenting a PowerPoint presentation. So let me just open PowerPoint over there and let me just do it from the interface itself. So we go over there and we launch PowerPoint. So right now the external display monitor has the PowerPoint application and if I'm presenting something over there and I just go and present it, I can still do different things on my phone and I can also receive a call in case I get a call. So this is also a good functionality usage which will come when you use Continuum. And again, you can do things independently on your phone. And right now, this application is working in an extended display mode. For example, whenever you use your Windows uh, PC, you connect an external display monitor. The main monitor is different and the external monitor is different. And that is the kind of technology which is being used here. So you have a different display over there. You have a different display over there on the phone and you have a different display over there on the monitor. And that is how these two things are not impacted. So even if you are giving a presentation till the time the phone is connected through this wire to the dock, you will see the presentation going on even when you are on a call. So you can do a lot more with the Continuum application with the Continuum feature which we have on the Lumia 950 XL and this is what which empowers this phone and makes this phone different from any other phone out there in the market. So this is all I have to say. Thanks for watching this video. In case this video helped you, please click the like button. You can also subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.